This is the heartland of rebel-controlled territory. And people in this city of Donetsk have been getting used to living in conflict and under fire. In the few hours that we've been here, we've heard a number of booms in the background, the sound of distant artillery fire. But fascinatingly, none of the passers-by here even turned their heads when they heard those explosions. They're very, very used to them. And they're trying, as far as we can tell, to get on with lives as normally as possible. On this main avenue, you can see the traffic still goes. Have a look there. The number six bus goes up and down. There are plenty of people in it. There's food in the shops. Those who've stayed have found a way of getting by, but there's no money in a lot of the cash point machines that we've been able to see. Another number six bus is going by there. And it's reasonably difficult to get from Ukrainian-held territory through here to the heartland of the rebel-controlled area. You've got to pass a border. And that border is patrolled by Ukrainians on one side and then several miles and kilometers later by rebels. And the rebels are building up their trappings of state, and their trappings of power right here in Donetsk and in the areas they control. They've got flags, they've got insignias, their police is working. And essentially, they don't want to give up anything that they've built up. That may make it much more difficult for diplomats and politicians trying to broker a deal suitable to both the rebels and also to Kiev.